At the end of the day, I just want to numb out, switch off and escape the world for a bit. As a sobriety coach, I hear a version of that sentence almost every day of the week. And I get it. A lot of people have really difficult lives with hard stuff going on right now. Maybe you've got a stressful job or aging parents you're worried about, people you're caring for, relationship struggles, grief, money worries. Oh, the mental load of managing all that is a lot. And when stress is high, many people who use alcohol for escapism end up leaning on it even more. And then it can start to feel impossible to get to the end of the day and not drink. It just feels too hard and you just want that break from it all. And I get that, I really do. But when people ask me if I miss those days of being able to numb out with alcohol, the honest answer is that I don't. Because actually, I think this whole concept of numbing out is a little bit of a fantasy, to be honest. Drinking does not really leave you numb and it does not really switch you off. You are not some electronic device that's just turned off at the plug when you drink. So let me prove this to you because I know you're doubtful. Have you ever got drunk and then felt really sad afterwards? You know that kind of maudlin, teary drunkenness? Or perhaps you've drunk loads and then got really angry because you've been drinking whilst ranting about your bad day and now you've had this great idea that it's the perfect time to message your ex and tell them exactly what you think about them. Or perhaps you've gone out to a comedy show or a night with friends and you've just laughed and laughed despite having lots to drink. So look, in all those moments, you are not numb. You are not switched off. You are not void of emotion. Your feelings are not dead. They're still right there. If alcohol truly numb people, there would never ever be fights in pubs because no one would have any emotions. They'd be numb. There would be no anger, no passion, no, no nothing to argue over. This idea that alcohol numbs you or switches you off somehow, I think it's a bit of a fantasy. It's a romanticized idea. But because we talk up this idea a lot and we tell ourselves that alcohol does this great job of oh, helping me escape, helping me switch off, it feels hard not to, to do that. And then, of course, you feel deprived at the thought of being sober and not drinking. And managing without alcohol starts to seem very hard. So alcohol doesn't switch you off at the plug unless you drink so much that you become unconscious. And neither you or me think that's a good idea, right? Before the unconscious stage, you still have the ability to think about whatever it is that's so bad in your life. All alcohol can really do, if you're lucky, if the wind's blowing in the right direction and the stars align for you and it's your lucky day, all alcohol can really do is distract you. And that is such an important distinction. Because like I said, we never switch off through drinking unless we're unconscious. But we can switch our focus away from certain thoughts and feelings. And we can certainly use alcohol for distraction, yes. I mean, when you think about it, the whole process of drinking is really just one big fat distraction. You have the drinking itself, then there's the waking up feeling hungover and hating yourself, there's that part. Then you drag yourself through the day and it feels like a mission just to survive and make it through that day. That whole process is one big distraction from the thing that you were trying to escape from in the first place. Very distracting. There is so much more I need to say on this topic, but honestly, in a quick weekly video, I'm so limited 
in how deep I can go. So if this resonates with you, if it interests you, just know we cover this in depth on my Getting Unstuck course, my Stop Drinking program. But for now, for today, I want to leave you with this idea. If you can start saying, I drink because I want some distraction from my life and my troubles, and alcohol is a quick and easy way of getting that distraction, that is a win. Because saying that, talking about the distraction, that is so much better than saying, I drink alcohol because it completely numbs me and switches me off. I can't feel anything when I drink. I'm just numbed out, like turned off. When you talk like that, you are talking alcohol up and you are exaggerating what it can do. And then it's no wonder that nothing else seems as good or as effective. I mean, how can anything else compete with that? But when you start using more accurate language and you start talking about drinking for distraction, it just takes the temperature down a bit. It's much less dramatic. We can work with that. Then we can open up a space to talk about why it is that you want so much distraction and how else could we create that distraction in a more healthy way. All right, so I'm Kate B and that is what I've got for you today. I am wishing you a very happy and hangover free week ahead.